Tonight, the manhunt is over for a teenage murder suspect just hours after the county prosecutor and U.S. Marshal called on the community to help find him. When the suspect surrendered, he shared a chilling statement with police. Bree Buckley has more. We need to get Antonio Baker off the street before he is either shot or kill somebody. Less than three hours after calls for 17-year-old Antonio Baker to surrender. With a warning that the murder suspect is armed and dangerous, Baker turned himself in. The suspect actually uh, was in communication, you know, during our press conference with one of my deputies and called him. U.S. Marshal for the Northern District of Ohio, Pete Elliott, says Baker peacefully surrendered in Cleveland's 3rd District just before 5 p.m. They say he had been hopping between places and was seen Wednesday walking up and down streets wearing a ski mask, carrying a rifle. He was one of three teens wanted for this fatal shooting on September 20th in Arbor Park, where you see them firing over 20 times. Wednesday night, 18-year-old Bryce Tanskley was arrested in connection to it, and the other suspect, a 15-year-old, was shot and killed. He told us that uh, most of the people around him were dead. All his friends were dead, um, and, uh, you know, it was time for him to surrender. Baker was also wanted for two other attempted murders in August and kidnapping and aggravated robbery in March and April. Those spring incidents allegedly involving his ex-girlfriends, according to authorities. The Cuyahoga County prosecutor says Baker will be the 36th juvenile charged with murder so far this year, already breaking last year's record with three months left to go saying retaliation shootings are happening too often, with teens becoming too comfortable with guns. Just within the last month and a half, two months, I believe we've arrested 20 for murder alone, and we have a number of warrants you know, on individuals now. So we're going to continue at it, do the best we can, and then go from there. The U.S. Marshal says this really was a team effort with Cleveland police and state troopers to get Baker to peacefully surrender, which Betsy, of course, was the safest option for everyone involved. And just to reiterate, Bree, this is the 36th juvenile charged with murder yeah. just this year. Yeah, last year we were at 35. That's for the whole year, and we still, of course, have three months to go. Oh, my goodness. All right, Bree, thank you for the report.